It's your dude back again with another video, man. I finally got everything in from ICT Billet, man. Ton of a ton of stuff, bro. For real, for real. I'm happy as heck, man. I got everything. Got my standalone mainly. That's the main thing I'm happy about. So this here, man, was uh 250 bucks, bro. I mean, I'm didn't come with O2 sensors, everything, man, but I've been reading over, this came with a manual, I've been reading over it, this thing here, man, is the truth, it has everything you need, except for an oil pressure, man, for, uh, except for the oil uh, pressure sending unit, bro, everything that you need right here, I'm telling you, I'm going, hey, I'm happy about it, man, I'm going to be plugging this damn thing in, it's here soon, man, once I get everything, once I get the motor together, I'm going to be setting up everything, so uh, stay tuned for that video, we're going to be doing this one here, we're going to be doing this one later on down the road, man, so we can push this to the, to the side, uh, we got the jigs, came from jigs, man, the uh, electric water pump, man, thing here is solid i love it of course i'm not going to be using it so but yeah i but i do love the way it looks i was going to use it man but then i got to thinking man uh got this after i bought it i got to looking at it man got to really thinking about it say yeah it's it's a good it's, it was good in theory but i won't be able to uh what is it? Uh, I won't be able to turn around. I won't be able to run my uh, heater, so I can't use this. So I'm gonna be using a regular water pump, man. So this would be going on the shelf to uh, for later later on for another build, man. Probably because I do have ideas, man, on building a drag car. So uh, that's probably what this is gonna go for. Uh, got my mouse from CX Racing, as you see. These things here, I love the way these things are, man. They got got the got a uh, mark passenger and driver, but as you see, these things is solid, man. I mean, look how thick, man. Look how thick that uh, that steel is. Oh, the welds, the welds on this thing are just look at them dimes, bro. So yeah, this is this thing here, man. I wish I could weld like that. So you know, I'm trying to go to class now. But uh it's another that's for another day, man. Uh but yeah, man, as you see, this this thing is this this, this thing is sturdy, solid. The man this I mean, look how thick that is, man. I mean this thing is immaculate. And on top of it, the uh, plate itself is is one piece one piece billet aluminum the uh mounts themselves bro come with uh the, the uh polyurethane bushings themselves come out so they can be uh changed later on down the road if something happens you know because you know bushings do go bad so might want to change them out later on down the road so that, that allows you to do that. But yeah, bro, these things here, man, are the CX racing mounts are the truth. These are for the uh 
they said these are for the 300 check man these are for the uh se 300 chassis man but people are always talking about the se 300 and the se 400 chassis are completely different man got a, a different um subframe we do have a sub different subframe no they're both the same subframe so you can use these mounts with no problem i had them sitting in there already believe me they're they'll, they'll be fine uh don't listen to anybody else about man trying to hit me you can get these and be perfectly fine they were uh they aren't cheap though uh i went i look at looked at uh some other sites man these were the cheapest ones i can possibly find now, these were these were under 430 bucks i said i put the link down there at the bottom so you can get that man you know cx racing mouse man if you plan on doing an ls swap in the in, in your uh sc in your sc 300 or 400 so yeah uh everybody who's uh seen the video beforehand man knows about the uh in seen these videos beforehand forehand already know about the ls intake and the adapter the ls intake man was 188 bucks man this was uh uh old what did they say old new stock that was just lent in and uh like i said this was pretty all this was brand new bro this here was brand new brand new map sensor as you see still got the uh covers over the still had, does have the covers and everything this i was ecstatic about this thing bro for real I'm still ecstatic about it. Even the fuel rail, old new, uh, old new stock. Two, uh, for, what was it? 125 bucks for this, bro. I've seen these online going for most, even the LS ones going for like two, two, three hundred bucks. 188 dollars for this. I'll put the link down there for this. I don't know if they have any more of these in stock, man. But I do see. But I, but this here. The description I read, man, this came off of a brand new, uh, L man, came off of a brand new LS intake, which probably came off of that one. We just don't know, but you know, this dude come, they did came from different place. He did came from, come from different places, but uh, this came off of a brand new intake. You know, I'm happy about this, bro, for real, because this means basically my entire intake is man, my entire my my uh, intake and my fuel rail are brand new. I won't have to nothing's ever been ran to them i'll be the first one to run anything through them uh they're also set up for e85 so uh i'm gonna probably that's my number one th that's probably what i'm gonna be doing later on down the road is trying to get it to them for e85 but yeah this is uh my intake and my fuel rail man less than 300 bucks bro for real out the gate that's crazy <laughs> well less than 350 and all the get man, if I was to buy this stuff used, you're looking at about you're looking at about two hundred to three hundred bucks for a few man, just for the fuel rail and two, three hundred for just the uh intake, and that's about six hundred bucks, bro. And I just probably walked away with just probably end up paying half of that. So but like I said, I'll put the descriptions down below to the people, man, who to the guy, man, because I got these both from eBay. So yeah, that's Bro, and that's the thing I keep telling people, man. Don't listen to a lot of people about it. Man, go through eBay, man, and try to find, man, find the best deals, man. Because some of the stuff that you find on there, man, is old new. Man, can be uh, old new stock, man. And especially with these uh, LS motors, man. Just, just look through there. You know, you might have to buy a few adapters or whatever else, bro. But to me, man, it's all worth it because in the end, you know, if you're trying to, uh, especially doing what I'm trying to do, you want you you want a low you, you're going to want a low intake believe me so this is going to be your best bet ls man this is this and like i said this is off of an ls7 so and i'm gonna get to the, get to uh some other things how, how i'm gonna be able to run this this here as you see is for a camaro and so is this This is the alternator bracket. And this is for the power steering. 
both of these are this is going to allow me to mount my to allow, allow me to mount the uh power steering and the alternator uh lower than what the uh truck man the the uh the, the bracket for the uh the bracket for the for the truck wheel because as you know the bracket for the truck man sits as high as the intake and I don't need that I need something that's going to be it's not going to sit it's not going to sit higher than this and I need something that's as you know how slope the uh, how slope the uh, front end of the car is so you're definitely going to want something man that's not going to poke up that's not going to poke out and make you have to cut a hole in your hood because believe me man that's as ghetto as it gets to me so but this here is going to allow me to uh to as you see low mount kit for the camaro and i'm happy about this because this is like i said this is going to allow me to put the premium put everything lower this is going to allow me to mount everything lower to be able to run what i need to run instead of uh having it sit as high as it as it does normally. Um, this here is for the intake. These are adapters that allow that that allow the uh allow me to run the uh, LS7 intake because the LS7 intake as you see as I talked about before has a square uh has 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 square runners compared to the uh in, as we know the uh ls the ls7 i mean not the the ls3 motor has cathedral style heads so the uh adapters will allow me to run mount this to in that head so that's the reason why i have bought these i will I love the way this thing looks, so I de so I'm definitely going. To, so I've definitely had to get these, most definite. I got my uh, that came. I bought or ordered this too from uh, ICT. I said, man, they got everything you're going to need, man, if you want to do an LS swap. I mean, everything from deletes to block offs to whatever, man. Even my, these uh, small. I bought these small block Chevy plates, man. Uh, for for uh one thing one thing only so i can have more of a mount so i can have more mounting uh more more mounting holes my boy uh bought has some of these and we checked and i checked them out against this and did allow it's going to allow me to have more as you see this has more holes this is going to allow me to put more hope man it's going to allow me to mount the, it's going to allow it's going to allow me to mount the motor to this and give me more holes to put through here to, to allow me to just gonna allow me to put more uh, bolts in the in the block in, into the uh, plate into the plate so I, so the motor will be a lot more sturdy than just having this here. Believe me, you're going to want to use this if you're going to if you're going to do this swap. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about when we put everything together, so you will understand what I'm saying. These. With 37 bucks, man, um, and I think, man, these are going to be a must-have. Um, we'll get them to get, we'll get them put in. I'm gonna probably have to flip them around, but like I said, we'll get them put in. And we'll see what happens. Um, but like I said, all this stuff from ICT, man, came. It was what was it under 400 bucks? Plus, on top of it, I got my valley. What my valley cover? Uh, Ordered my valley color cover another uh, before all this before I ordered everything else. This is for uh, to uh, delete your uh, your knock sensors. It's beautiful, man. I love the way these things. I love the way billet aluminum looks. But uh, yeah, this is the delete your uh, valley cover. Man, these are the delete your knock sensors. I they have a relocation kit that I'm going to be buying. That I that it's made by ICT, bro. ICT is the truth. They're here in Kansas and Wichita, bro. I advise you if you are doing an LS swap, bro, and you are trying to find everything cheap. They have everything from standalone harnesses to uh, 
delete plates to mount plates to whatever you're going to need to turn around, man, oil pans. I'm ordering more stuff from them here pretty soon, bro. I'm telling you. ICT is going to be the big, man, I love it, man, because even the, in, including, man, they even came. They're, like I said, they're down the street, bro. I ordered my stuff. I mean, I ordered everything on Sunday. They got, they got my order Monday here. It is, yeah, and I got everything on Wednesday. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be messing with them from now on, bro. I you know, Believe me. So, understand, man. You're going, to be seeing, you're going to be seeing a lot of ICT stuff here, bro. A lot of it. So, yeah, we're uh, getting everything together for the uh, LS, bro. Getting ready to start, start slapping the stuff together here pretty soon. So, uh, like I said, man, we're going to be getting it, getting it in. Keep up with your dude, man.